everyone, I am Burger, and I'm here with another episode of Fallout New Vegas Modded Hardcore. In this series, I will play as a Silver Tongue Psycho, which means I'm nice and likable, but I also eat people. Now, what I was going to do here is go and get Eddie, because I've had the science to recruit him for quite some time, and I just keep forgetting about it. And I clearly do not have enough companions. I don't know about you, but this is an extremely small amount of companions. So, I'm gonna go and recruit. Did he fall on the floor? I'm gonna go and recruit Eddie. Science. Run the bypass. Repair with parts. Uh, run the bypass. Well, whatever. Makes beeping sounds. Indubitably, good sir. Companion protocol begin. Yay! More perks. Not overpowered at all. Actually, it is super overpowered to have all these companions. Hey, and I could use a hand over here. Yeah, she's bugged. She's not supposed to be doing that. I don't think bombing the monorail is going to send the NCR running back to California. Do you? I want to help him every way I can. Well, it looks like I'm doing this. I just can't get over it that you believe in him. I'm getting tired of you complaining about it. Why don't you leave already? Well, I do. Follow me, follow him. That's the way it's going to be. Well... Okay. Don't forget I love you. That's why I stay. Don't worry, I'm gonna et to brute the shit out of him first chance I get. I've always wanted to et to brute someone. And what does it mean to et to brute someone? That means to uh, totally backstab my best friend right before he achieves ultimate power. Uh, I've only seen this happen a few times in entertainment. You know, there's the origin of it, you know, in the Shakespeare play. Um, but I also saw it in an anime, Kill a Kill. Um, it didn't work. Um, the person lived, but uh, this... Uh, this person, uh, the original villain for the show, uh, backstabbed, uh, her mom because, uh, the mom was evil or something like that. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but anyways, that was an Etu Brute. She didn't expect her daughter to stab her in the back. She did. It didn't work, but that was still an Etu Brute. And I've always wanted to Etu Brute someone. Now, is Vanessa with me? I don't know why she's over there. I'm gonna have to use the Vanessa teleporter. Yeah, what were you doing over there? Huh? Huh? Anyways, what am I doing now? Totally forgot what I was doing. Oh, right. I was going to do some boomer stuff. And, you know, I'm probably going to murder the guy um, who replaces Caesar, too. Because I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's something you can do. So yeah, in this exact scenario, I would be literally at to brute someone, because this guy is literally named Caesar. However, I've always wanted to et to brute someone in a more figurative sense. You look like one of those enclave eyebots from DC. Good thing you don't spout their nonsense. <clears throat> don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Don't forget the Right? She's about to say that. And it, whiskey. See? You know, there's something... Uh, I'll just do some cast stuff really quick. Keep your eyes killed for Sandy Root, okay? Cass, where's Cass? What did... Did you put a plug in his cock tube to make him explode? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What? What is she talking about? Ask him then. Where'd you get that pendant? Gift from my dad. 
along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Who my level's a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. That's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his veteran behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Tell me about your dad. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him. And she had me to raise. She was sick. But she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any idea why he went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Where'd you learn how to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me, mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. And where'd you learn how to handle dynamite? Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass, or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twister's out of the divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Any wep other weapons you know how to sh use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. Cool, cool. All right, then. All right. Let's go manipulate the boomers. Make them think I'm their savior, but really I just want them to help me take the dam. I wonder if this is going to work. If I can, like, kill Caesar at the last minute. You know? And the guy who replaces him. Or if I go too far, I have to follow through with the Legion. Either way, I've got so many companions with me, I could probably win the war on my own. Without the robots, which I blew up. And without, uh... These guys. The boomers. But what am I looking for? I'm looking for, uh... I'm looking for the howitzer parts, right? Yep. I'm looking for a part for a big m weapon. How is your visit with us going? I'm looking for howitzer firing mechanism. They are too rare and valuable to simply give away. Nor have you proven yourself a friend. I haven't heard anything. Bye. Yeah, okay. Let's go give some kids a rocket toy or something. These people are super easy to get on their good side. Despite being a xenophobic tribe that uh, shoots anyone who gets close with uh, giant missiles, which is overkill, they're not so bad. Hey, Mr. Gutsy, how you doing, buddy? And where are all the kids? What are you saying? I can't hear you. Ugh, it's all raining. I mean, yay, it's raining! <clears throat> totally what I meant to say. Seems like a good night to murder somebody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Wow, there's like nobody around here. Whatever. I guess I'll start the get the boomers to like me quest. I think there's someone in here who needs my help. I think I need to expend all of uh, Raul's chat options really quick, though. Raul, Raul the Ghoul. You know, I didn't give uh, Father Stanley a different outfit because he just looks so badass like that. Yeah, boss. Just, yeah. What is he talking about? Questions, boss? Do you know anything about a goon named Benny? Wears a checkered coat, carries a big pistol? Benny, huh? Sorry, boss. Doesn't ring a bell. Then again, my brain isn't as sharp as it used to be. Had some other questions. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Total smartass. The best. What's your take on C NCR? They're all right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. I had other questions. You're a veritable geyser of- Yes, you already said that. How do you feel about Kaiser's Legion? I don't really have a problem with that. People around here tend to see them as in- But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders, you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws aren't nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. I do indeed, good sir. Tell me about New Vegas. It's big, it's bright, and it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre-war. But it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Then Mr. House took over. Got the power turned back on. And got the tribes reformed into something civilized. And now they run his casinos for him. Interesting. Tell me about yourself. Sure, boss. Who are you? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? Ass. My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Then why is your jumpsuit saying Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. That's a good reason. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. <laughs> book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out. I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a packed ramen. But my knees aren't so good anymore. I don't believe that. You must have some skills. That's nice of you to say, boss. But I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was. I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I'm still half decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job, but I can keep your gear working longer. See, but... I've never heard of a ghoul getting old before. Ever. Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me, if we find them, because I've never met one. What did I ask him? I didn't even pay attention to that. I'm an open book. Yep. Where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. I'm an open book. Yep, you already said that. How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. Something else. How'd you up in Black Mountain? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke-down old man. How? But how did Tabitha find you in the first place? Eh, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast, just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman, or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services, but Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around, permanently.
in the ring. Okay. Now, since I expended all his chat up oh, for Pete's sake. Grr. Since I expended all of his chat options, he might say something when I talk to Loyal over here. Well, that's Jack, but there's another guy I have to talk to anyways. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. And then I said gobbledygook. To mess with him. Like, nope, I do not understand a word you say. What do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? What can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. Recover a lady? What are you talking about? Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Well, that's not concerning at all. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Uh-huh. Well, I'd kill you all, but, you know, you've got a lot of explosives. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. I passed through a place called Healy Swan. Maybe I can find the parts there. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charge it. Okay. What the hell is this? No, those aren't for outsiders to use. Leave them alone. Speech 50. I'm genuinely interested in your people's history. What are the pods for? I is this modded stuff? I don't remember this being in the last time I played. Well, if you genuinely care so much, they're flight simulators. If you don't know our history yet, you should see Pete and get the tour. We dream to one day rule the sky. Don't get blown up. Don't get blown up. Yep. That'd be one of you guys who would do that. Still got more things to say to him? What is it, outsider? Uh, what the hell? Why is it still pointing you towards him? That's a good thing to see, huh, boss? You could, you could look me in the eye instead of from talking about to me behind the 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 airplane dude. You could talk to me in the eye. What are you talking about? That loyal guy. He's getting up there in years, but he still finds a way to make himself useful to his people. If you ask me, that's better than withering away all alone or holding on to some faded piece of glory from your past. Loyal's using his... Years of knowledge to help his tribe. I think that's a noble goal. At least he knew when to step back and take it easy. A lot of people don't. I suppose if you're happy with that kind of life, it's not so bad. Well, these are all kind of nice options. None of these are particularly mean. But, you know, the Silver Tongue Psycho is a total kiss-ass, so I'm going with this one. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. What's on your mind? Old history, boss. I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejada. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody, but I had my share of run-ins with the police. Most of my family kept me alive. 
This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. Go on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. What happened then? About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelt the smoke, and I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else, my parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters, all died. What happened then? Rafaela and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. You blame yourself from this. You can't think it was your fault. No one could stand against a dozen armed men all alone. Well, that's not true. Anyone stupid enough not to set a watch deserved what they got? That's clearly what my person is thinking. Uh, but they're not going to say that. Um, this one, I just don't agree with. I could totally take on a dozen armed men by myself. And this one is the one my person is going to say. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for all my skills with a pistol, I couldn't help them. Anyway, that was weighing on my mind. Thanks for letting me get it out in the open, boss. Y you could have looked me in the eye. But where the hell is he? How far away was he? He's all the way back here. You could have looked me in the freaking eye. Well, okay. Uh, guess I'll get started on that solar array. Hey there. Back. Looking for ways to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not... Oh, yeah, and he asked for a personal matter. Help. Black Widow, a personal matter, hmm? Handsome guy like you, I bet there's a girl involved. You think I'm handsome? Wow. I wonder if she does too. So tell me all about this girl that caught your interest. There's an outpost near here. The signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except, she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. <laughs> Maybe I could talk to her for you. What's she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful oh, woman who ever... red hair? Lived. You said all you, you need really to say. talk to her for me? What if she gets blown... Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle... Look, Quinte. You had me at redhead. Looking out for my fellow redheads. Because redheads are badasses. 110% of them. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter what the quest is. If there's a person with red hair involved... That's all I need to know. It doesn't matter what the quest is. How important, how stupid, how meaningless, how important. I said that one already. If there's a redhead involved, I'll do it. Okay, let me just go. Solar array, ant problem. Maybe an uncle problem too, I'm not sure. This place is pretty special. It deserves a special name. I'm gonna call it Boomtown from now on. Oh, Willow, you and the weird things you say. Like, hey, I could use a hand over here. At all the wrong times. Why are the rads not showing up? Is it because I have zero rads? 
Must be. I should take a doctor's bag. Okay, data, so... Repair that. Oof, gotta kill some ants. Let's go kill some ants. I got five minutes left. I'm a fucking bunny. Watch me hop. Sorry. Didn't mean to say that word. Well, actually, I did, but I meant to not say it. Trust me, that makes sense. Did you just teleport to me, you bastard? Teleporting bastard. How do I get on this roof? Hey, how do I get on the roof? So this isn't the ant problem I'm taking care of, it seems. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go get spare parts from Helios. Yeah. Good thing I'm still neutral with the NCR. Because that's the way of the Silver Tongue Psycho. Make everybody like you and completely destroy everything they care about. And eat them. And then maybe play with their corpse a little bit. I don't know. This is a restricted area. State your business. And with the NCR, anything I can do to help? Your being here is a start, soldier. We aren't exactly overflowing with troopers here. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. Cool, cool. Don't care. Besides, I already know the story. Not sure what I'm gonna name this episode. Did a lot of random stuff. Talked to Willow about the Legion. Apparently I can't tell her that I'm planning to kill him. My only option is to say, I respect him. No, I don't. I don't respect anybody. I'm the silver tongued psycho. How do I get anywhere ever? Yep, Saluk used to say there are two wolves inside us. A good wolf and a bad wolf. The one that wins is the one we feed. Blah, 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 shit. Okay, let's go get the thing. Now can I just take him from any, or does it have to be a specific one? It seems to have to be a specific one. Maybe I have to look for one in tip-top shape, with the parts I need. Aha! Salvage the array. Woohoo! Wow. I carried a lot of those parts with me now, didn't I? I see, so I'm taking the ones that they don't need. Okay, this leaves this quest open. Although I realized just now that maybe I shouldn't have uh, started that lucky old sun quest. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to a previous save. Off camera. No, I'm not. That would be difficult. Okay, whatever. 
Well, that's going to be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Today, I did some stuff around the boomers. I mostly talked to people, and I got some words out of uh, Raul. I uh, didn't get the whole backstory, so I'm not going to call it Raul's backstory. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess you'll know what I call it when you just look at the you know, title of the episode. That's it for today, everyone. Bye!